morning, new information about the Aaron Hernandez murder investigation. The rules for covering and watching the trial set to start next month are out. They cover everything from who will be allowed in the courtroom to what they can and cannot wear. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau has all the details now from the newsroom. In separate filings, Hernandez asked for more than twice the number of juror challenges normally allowed. And the court set the number on who will be allowed to watch the trial. That wasn't just, oh, we went out, we hung out, we had a good time. In a trial that's expected to attract journalists from across the country, 20 members of the media will be allowed in the courtroom. Nine seats will be reserved for the victim's friends and family and nine seats for Hernandez's friends and family. That would leave 23 seats for the general public on a first-come, first-served basis with more seats available in an over flow room. The first item on the protocol involves a dress code issue. During the entire Hernandez trial, no one will be allowed in the Fall River Courthouse if they're wearing Patriot or NFL logos. Meanwhile, in a motion filed by the Hernandez defense team, his attorneys asked for 30 peremptory challenges. According to Massachusetts Criminal Procedure Rule 20, a defendant in a life sentence case gets 12 opportunities to eliminate prospective jurors without giving a reason. But this defendant's attorney argued he needs more challenges due in part to media coverage, which in the motion they called, quote, caustic and prejudicial and sensational. Jury selection is expected to start on January 16th, with prospective jurors filling out questionnaires the week before that. In the newsroom, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.